What's up everyone? This is Zaz over at Team Battering Ram. Today I have another PTCGO ga uh, gameplay video for you all. Uh, today we're going to be working with a Reshiram Charizard GX. Probably one of the most hyped cards in the entire set. Probably favored to be one of, if not the best deck in the upcoming format. And I really like it a lot. So I'm going to go through the deck list, talk about my inclusions and why I have them. I didn't really do that last time with the Pikachu and Zekrom list, so I am excited to kind of go through my personal build and how it might be different from other people, or maybe if you see something different, please comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, this is a rough draft, I always change builds, and I'm always evolving. So first things first, we have the big boy himself, Reshiram Charizard GX, uh, 270 hit points tag team, so if you knock him out, you are going to take three prize cards, but he is super powerful. Outrage, don't underestimate the outrage attack, 30 plus 10 more for each damage counter on him. If you can't knock him out in one hit, he might just go on revenge kill, even with a choice band, um, 60 plus 10 for every damage counter. If you do um, 230 to me with your own Flare Strike, I can return the knockout with Outrage. A super good attack. Flare Strike, 230 for 4 energy. Can't use Flare Strike again. That's fine because if I play some switching cards that allow us to kind of bypass that. And then we have Double Blaze GX for 3 fire energy, just 200 damage. If you have at least 3 extra fire energy attached to it, in addition to the attack cost, uh, this attack does 100 more damage and it is not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Really strong against things like Dawn Weezer Crosma, um, Jolteon GX, Hoopa, uh, Alolan Knight. You know, you pop their GX attack and you just throw them up there because you say, okay, they don't have Guzma, there's no way they can knock me out. I can kind of solidify kind of like a lead or at least preserve what I have and then, you know, next turn do something else. Charizard, if you're able to get that 6 energy on him, he just says, no, I'm going to knock you out anyway for 300 damage, and I go through all of your effects. Very strong card. I really like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do playing around with it. I'm playing one Turtonator GX. I really like Turtonator. He's an old, uh, reliable from Guardians Rising. Unfortunately, he will be rotating, so I'm going to get to enjoy him while I can. Shell Trap. 20 damage, if he gets attacked, does 80 damage counters, or 8 damage counters. Solid attack, not bad. Bright Flame, again, another solid attack for 3, discard 2, fire energy. You know, not terrible, not the best thing ever, but it does help you knock out Tapaleles, does help you knock out um, the Denes, um, things like that. Really what I have him for is Nitro Tank GX, sometimes it's late game, I'm not going to get to use Charizard GX attack, I just ran out of resources, that's where Nitro Tank comes into play. Attach 5 fire energy cards from discard to your Pokemon any way you like. Really a big fan of this, this has actually saved me in a couple games that I've practiced with, even um, uh, testing with some friends or online. Really good attack, I really like this card. I'm playing two Volcanion. Uh, I am thinking of bumping this guy up to three. Uh, mainly for this Flare Starter attack. Search your deck for a Fire Energy card attached to one of your Pokemon. Okay. You go second, and it's your first turn. Instead, you may search up to three Fire Energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you want. So you could put one, 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 or all three on a Charizard or something. This is my answer for if I have to go second. I have an answer for if I go first, I have an answer for if I go second. His high heat blast attack isn't really bad either. It does 110 damage. Uh, it does 50 damage. Plus, if I have at least four energy in play, counting these two, it does 60 more damage. Solid attack. I am playing one Tapalele GX with a Wonder Tag ability. Uh, I can energy drive 20 damage times the amount of energy to both active Pokemon. Good for knocking revenge, knocking out a Charizard. You can welder to this and just kind of power it up stupid, very, very stupidly quick. Uh, mainly from Wonder Tag. Play them on your bench. Search for a um, supporter card. Put it in your hand. Mainly what we're playing for. That's the Pokemon. Only seven Pokemon. I'm not used to playing only seven Pokemon. But the deck does speak for itself. Very powerful. I'm playing two Acrobike. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand. Discard the other one. Just some extra draw power. Fiery Flint from Dragon Majesty. 
discard two cards, search for four fire energy. Really good to get that um that welder play or anything that you need. I am playing three fire crystal mainly because there isn't a lot of time where I do need the energy in hand. It's not like I'm playing Blacephalon. I might pump it up to four. I'm not 100% sure yet. Again, we're just testing. But I am playing four Nest Ball. I'm only playing seven basic Pokemon, but four Nest Ball. Because you are allowed to fail. It's good deck thinner. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. All of my Pokemon are basic Pokemon. Put them on the bench. Now it's time to look at my favorite card. Favorite card from Unbroken Bonds. Pokegear 3.0. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a supporter card you find there and then put it into your hand. So that can help you get your Guzma, your, um, your Welders, Green's Exploration, Turn 1 Kiawe's, things like that. It can help you get Cynthia's and Lily's. If you want another deck, you're just in a pinch. You need something. It can get you there. To switch. Just to switch out. Um, to kind of get through, uh, bypass this restriction on Flare Strike. Um, I'm playing two. I have tested one before. I don't know how I'm feeling it. We'll see. I'm playing three Ultra Ball, mainly because I don't have the um, the Salazzle with the ability, the Roast Reveal Salazzle, so I don't really need Ultra Ball for anything, except for Tapu Lele. That's the only thing I'm going to have enough Ultra Ball for. Not really worth it. So, but again, we'll see. It's a test build. Uh, heat Factory, because it's a fire deck, you need Heat Factory. Um, each player can do it if they want. Dur once during their turn, discard a fire energy, draw three cards. Super good. Helps you kind of maintain hand sizes. This, this deck is all about maintaining a very large hand. Uh, two power plants. Once I play that type of Lele down, I don't need any more. Slap this down. Pokemon GX and EX in play. Both yours and your opponents have no abilities. They cannot tap a Lele Wonder Tag. They cannot Dene, uh, the Dene Charge. They can't um, do a lot of things. Uh, Zoroark just turns off. Not really a whole lot else they can do once that's in. They gotta have the Counter Stadium or the Field Lord. I'm playing three greens exploration. Um, I like three because sometimes I do start Tapu Lele and then I can't do anything about it unless I power plant myself. So once the Tapu Lele comes on the play, if I don't have the power plant, greens is not doing anything. Really good card though. You only play this card if you have no Pokemon with abilities in play. Search your deck for the two trainer cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Really good card. I love it. Uh, three Guzma, my favorite supporter of choice. Uh, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. If you do, switch your active with one of your bench. I normally play four. I'm testing three. We'll see. To Kiawe! Here's my turn one uh, gas card. Uh, search your deck for up to four fire energy. Attach them to one of your Pokemon. Uh, get your turn one Charizard's power up. Uh, four welder. New supporter from this set. Really strong. Attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, draw three cards. Uh, you can only you can attach just one energy and then draw three. It's really strong. It helps you uh, get be able to attach three energy per turn, including your attach return. Really, really strong. I'm playing three choice band. Uh, Thirty more to your opponent's GX EX, and then thirteen fire energy. So I don't really need a whole lot. Charizard really attacks for four. I can fire crystal some back, but very rarely do I ever need to get to the six. So that's the deck list. Uh, let's go in a couple games and see how we do. Let's see uh, how this plays. I again, I'm, I'm testing. We're um, trying to see what works, what builds um, I like. I normally change the build a lot. Looks like playing against a fire deck. Surprise, surprise. We might be playing against uh, the same kind of deck. Tails never fails. All right, I won the coin flip. I am going to choose to go first. I do like the ability to go first, just to Kiawe. It kind of just like sets me up in a good position, and I actually am in a pretty good position right now. Um, I can Ultra Ball for Tapalele for Kiawe turn one. I'm very surprised I did not mull again. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I have no more basic Pokemon. They are playing Dedene. Oof, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't play any kind of Rescue Stretcher, so I'm actually gonna grab the Turnator here. Um, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away. Hmm. Because I do want to get the Kiawe. I am gonna Ultra Ball, I guess. Um, I, 
Once I get Tapu Lele, I don't need greens, and I'll get rid of a fire energy. Okay, Tapu Lele is in the deck, and then we do have Kiawe. We have both Kiawe in the deck. So I'm going to grab Tapu Lele. And then we are going to Wonder Tag. Yes, I would like to get a supporter card. We're going to grab Kiawe. We're going to attach to the bench. And then we're going to Kiawe. Four energies right here. So we only have ten energies in the deck. Uh, five more are remaining. So I do need to be careful of my... Uh, my remaining energies. I do have three energies in the prize cards, which is fine. Um, that just means there's three other cards that I really need that are not there. So they do have the Reshiram Charizard GX as well. They're probably playing the Dedenne Charge version, where um, they can Dedenne Charge and just discard, draw a lot of cards. Um, that, that list is fine. You know, there's not really a problem with it. In my opinion, I, I like it. It's pretty good. And then he does get the turn one Kiawe as well. Now, what I am afraid about is who's going to get like the first really big knockout. Because he's going to get four energy. He is uh, one energy away from double blaze. Which is very scary. And this is the problem that I have with this deck. Is now, there's Fiery Flint in my hands. And I can't do anything. So, I think what I'm going to do is I, I have to Flare Strike. Because to say that he doesn't have the energy is ridiculous. Of course he has the energy in hand. There's no way that he doesn't. So, I'm going to Flare Strike. I am going to get Return Knocked Out. And it's going to be a bad one. Because I am going to have to... Uh, he is going to GX me. And that's a problem. Okay, so he has the Guzma. I don't really know what he would Guzma then. Okay, he has Tepelele. He's gonna Wonder Tag here. Possibly for a draw supporter card. He might not actually have the energy right now. Oh, just scoops it up. Maybe he didn't have the energy for the, um, uh, the Double Blaze GX. I'm not 100% sure. Because if he didn't have the Double Blaze GX, that could explain why, because he could be afraid of, okay, well now, he can just return Knockout me, and if I did pull a Welder, I was going to be able to do that. And I did have Poke Gear, I did have a top deck to allow me to do that. Let's try to get another game, that one was only two turns long. Um, I'm going to get longer game. Alright, so we're playing a Metal Fairy Water deck. Not sure what this is gonna be. Metal Fairy and Water. Maybe is it Alolan Ninetales? No, it can't be. Okay, so I am gonna go first. So I am gonna try to um, Pokey Gear here. I'm gonna try to Pokey Gear and grab a. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get the Kiawe. And get the Kiawe, that would be good. If I can't, um, not a huge issue. Okay, not a bad issue, not super, super crazy. And then he just gave up. Alright, come on, this is this is boring. I'm getting a lot of points though. Holy, holy smokes! All right, let's go again. Like, let's, let's try to find an actual good game with Charizard and Reshiram. I think it's going to go one of two ways. It's either they're going to pop off, or you're going to pop off. There ain't no real way about this. It's Fairy and Psychic though. This might be Gardevoir. If it's Gardevoir, I'm confused why they're not playing Swampert, but who knows. Maybe, oh, maybe this is, um, oh, this is Gardevoir, Sylveon. Okay, so, who's going first? I don't remember. It's fine. This is fine. Because I don't have a way to get the um, turn one Kiawe anyway. So, okay. I, I am not going first. So I did make the correct play here. Um, I am afraid of this deck just because this has, deck has a lot of healing. It has a lot of damage mitigation. 
very tough to um actually deal with. Uh, in, in this case, I could have um, Guzma uh, did into the Miss Magius or whatever. Or the, the Mischievous. That's probably what they're searching for right now. Looking through, seeing they got Mischievous. They're going to probably play the Dusk Stone from hand, or they might have a way to get it with Green's Exploration. Uh, Dusk Stone being a car, an item card that will allow her to um, evolve mischievous into miss magius straight from the right off the bat a uh, very 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 powerful card and it's gonna allow him uh if he knocks out his miss magius he can draw until he has seven cards so he would only draw three though I'm not sure if it would be worth it he's gonna get the duck stone and the wonders labyrinth this is not a bad choice uh, that means I am going to have to change my strategy up a little bit. I am going to have to Welder to be able to Flare Stark. Not ideal. Not really what I want to do. But it's okay. I don't know if that's really worth it though. Only for three cards. Not a whole lot of value that you're getting off of those three cards. That's my problem with it. So let's go ahead and we're going to nest them all here. I'm just going to take a look at what's in the deck. We have two Charizards, um, Volcanian, Tapalele, uh, Turtonator. Um, we have Kiawe's, we have Power Plants. Okay. Um, so I think here I'm just going to grab another Charizard. That seems fine. And I am going to attach for turn. And then I'm going to play my Welder. So Welder allows me to attach two energy cards to attach to one of my Pokemon. So I'm going to choose to attach them to Volcano. Then I can draw three cards. So, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to Nest Ball again. Just the deck a little bit. I'm going to grab Turtonator. And then I'm going to go for a Flare Starter. Flare Starter will allow me to get, since I'm going uh, second, I can get three Fire Energy cards. So, I can attach them to this bench one right here. This could be, I think this can be my best option here. And then if he tries to strand me, I do have Guzma and I do have Switch. So I have ways to kind of get around. Okay, so this is the... I, okay, I can respect this. I can respect the play now. He is playing Lieutenant Surge. So Lieutenant Surge says, if you're behind on prize cards, which Miss Magius in play, he 100% is going to be. He can play um, two extra supporters per turn, so he can play Green's Exploration, get two item cards, and then he can play potentially another um, supporter card. And he might play another Green's, just to make sure that maybe he can get like a little bench, or something along those lines. I do need to be able to get, yeah, there he is. He's just gonna get a Green's and a nest ball. And then they're gonna play another greens exploration. Just to be able to like thin the deck. This deck is can draw through itself very quickly. A lot faster than I can draw through mine. I do want to get a stadium card. I do need to get a stadium. So there is that. Now the problem is I can't I cannot double blaze GX for 300 unless I get rid of the Wonders Labyrinth I need to get rid of the Wonder Labs to be able to do that so what I might do I'm trying to think I think the safest play is going to be um yeah, double choice helmet. So now he's going to be taking 30 less from my um, GX attacks. What might be the play here is I might just flare starter. That might be the play. Because it seems what's going to happen is he would Guzma attack for 150 and move the energy around. Now I do have Kiawe. Kiawe makes this a little interesting. Because there isn't really anything I can do. Right, I can't attack. I can't really do anything. I could... Kiawe. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. Because I can't even flare strike right now. 
So I think what I am gonna do is I am gonna kill it. I'm gonna grab three fire energies. It might seem like a waste, but I do like the play. I'm gonna grab three fire energies, put them on Charizard. So now he is a threat. He is going to be knocking something out with um Double Blaze GX. My opponent might think that I'm stuck, that they're that they're in the clear, but I do have two Guzmans in hand, so that way if he were to um I think what he's going to do is he's going to Guzma and attack one of these Charizards and then move the energy to the bench. What this deck does a lot is they tend to kind of move energies around a lot. And they just do 150 and they kind of poke and they move any number of energy. And then with a magical miracle GX, they do 200 damage, they have three more fairy energies. Um, I have to shuffle my whole hand in, and I'm top decking for the entire game. So, they may do here. Okay, they're just going to fairy someone. So, I am going to be able to punish. I am going to punish them very hard for here, because I do have three fire energies extra to the attack cost. So, let's go ahead and Guzma this guy. And I'm gonna punish with double blaze and GX and he just screwed it up. Um I, again I think the Kiawe was probably the best play that I had. And as soon as he saw the Guzma, he knew it was over. There wasn't anything he could do. He was trying to um, make me have to worry about top decking the whole game. But it is how it is. Um I'm gonna get one more. Because all of those games are really short. Most of the video is me talking about my deck, and I'm not a huge fan of that. So let's try to get one more. Hopefully they play it out. Hopefully they don't scoop me. You gotta, don't scoop. Play it out. This is a this is a Spirit Tomb deck. It's Dark Lightning and Psychic. So this has to be a Spirit Tomb Stun Fisk deck. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. Um, this deck is kind of have a bad matchup for me, just because the prize trading. The prize trading is what's going to kill me. So, I do have Retroram Charizard on active. And it is weird that they mulligan, because I imagine they have a lot of Pokemon. They have to have a good bit of Pokemon here. So... They're going to choose an active Pokemon. <sighs> so I am going to Poke Gear first, I think is the play here. Yes, I would like to draw an extra card. So they do have the Welder. Ooh, this is not what I thought it was. Oh, this is um, Zorark Greninja. Okay. So I don't feel bad about playing down the Choice Band. And, oh, look at that. We just get it right off the top. Uh, not bad at all. Let's throw down the power plant. Let's go ahead and ultra ball away. Uh, do I want to ultra ball anything away? Because I want to play this. That made me one, two, three, four, five. But ultra ball for something. I, I think I do need to ultra ball though. I think that's, that's the safest play is to Ultra Ball. I'm going to Ultra Ball away the greens. I'm going to Ultra Ball away the fire energy. I'm going to grab another Reshiram and Charizard. I'm just trying to be safe. And then we're going to Kiawe onto the active. And then just pass it to my opponent. They are playing the Zorart Greninja deck. I have seen a couple of deck lists that are playing the Poipal uh, Naganada line that has the um, charge up ability with their Zor Greninjas so that way they can get a lot of energy very quickly. So I do like the idea of the deck. I think it's very, very, very strong. And uh, they are making the correct choice here. I think they, they are focusing on getting those Poipals in play. Uh, thankfully, they do not have the Ultra Space. That makes me ecstatic. Okay, and they're gonna just Guzma. Which means they don't really, this tells me they do not have anything. This 
tells me they're just trying to stall. They're gonna spit poison. Which is fine. It does not really bother me all too much. So, let's see what I can top deck. And, lo and behold, I, I get the goose. I feel really, really bad about that. I'm not even gonna lie. We're gonna flinch for the knockout. A little overkill, but I can't really kill it. And then my prize gives me switch, so if he tries it again, um, I have switch. That's unfortunate for my opponent. So they do have Acrobike, they must have just top decked that. Um, the only thing I don't like about Acrobike, and I have learned this by playing uh, my Pikachu, uh, my Pikachu and Zekrom tag team at GX deck, is that Acrobike, you can Acrobike away two things that you really need, but you don't have a way to get back. So unfortunately, my opponent is stuck with the Guzma play. Um, if they spit poison here, I I do win the game. I have won this game. That's unfortunate for my opponent. Um, you now, let's just see if we can... Uh, just kind of flex on a little bit. Even if I do this, I, I won't be able to kill. So, let's just... That's unfortunate. But this deck is just... This deck is so powerful. And I can just hit so many turn 1 attacks and turn 1 strategies. Consistently, every single one of these games, I have been able to get either a turn 1 Kiawe or a turn 1 Flare Starter for 3. Not a whole lot my opponent can do about that. Um, so here, let's take a look at their deck because I am interested. They are playing the Dark Ride GX. They are playing the Charge Up Magnetos. The Dene three Zora Greninjas. This seems like a pretty standard um, list here. The only thing I don't see that I would like to see is um. Oh, I do like the um. Excuse me, I would like to see the. Uh, the Ultra Space to get these guys out, because if you had Ultra Space, he would have been able to just flood the board with these things and make it so I could not kill him. But, that's unfortunate. Um, but that'll be it for me. Um, unfortunately, I got uh, several lackluster games, but it's what happens. It's just a thing that happens. So, this has been Jonathan from Team Battering Ram, and... I will see you guys next time with the next deck on PTC.